Good day, everybody. Today we're going to be looking at the game Crash Canyon. This game came out in 1989 from Milton Bradley, and it is for two to four players. First of all, look at the size of this box. This box is massive. Anyway, the object of this game is you're going to try to be the first player to get your car across the finish line. Now, you're going to be playing this game on a 3D board, and you're going to be moving your car around, possibly hitting boulders. You'll have turbo tokens that you can use to move faster, but then you have to watch out for falling into the canyon itself. So let's take a look at it. Okay, everybody, here we go. We have a large 3D board here that is indicative of a canyon, and uh, there are arrows that are going all throughout the board, and this is just simply going to tell you which direction one of your little micro machines is going to go on the board. Now, you're going to choose a micro machine, and then everybody is going to get three of these turbo tokens, and I'll explain what these do here in a little bit. And the object of the game is try to be the first person across the finish line or to be the first person across the finish line in a set amount of laps. You can do two laps, three laps, or what have you. Now you've got two dice here in the game. You've got your main die over here and one, and one of them has a star on it. And then you have another die which you're going to be able to use with your turbo tokens. Uh, you also have boulders here uh, throughout the game. And anytime you land on a boulder, your movement is going to go ahead and stop and you'll toss the boulder here into one of the pits. So uh, let's go ahead and roll one. Let's say I roll and I've rolled, say, a six. And let's say on the red car, I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, after you move, you're going to let go of the car. And what it might do is what's called freewheeling. What that basically means is when you let go of the car in certain areas of the board, your car will either move forward or backwards. And uh, wherever it lands, that will be where you will be until your next turn. So let's say I ended up rolling and I landed here. I would let go. And then my truck will go ahead and land there, and that's where my next turn will start. Or let's say it was over here, it could roll and go all the way over there. And again, this is where my next turn will start. Now, uh, throughout the game, there are pits in the game, and if your truck happens to fall in one of these pits, one of two things is going to happen. So let's just say the red truck landed here, you let go, and in the pit he goes. He's going to have to end up uh, getting out of the pit on his next turn. Let's say he goes across the bridge, and his uh, vehicle overturns and is not on the wheels you're going to have to spend one turn to uh, get your truck back upright and then you'll be able to move out on your next turn so anytime you land on a bowler let's say uh, the truck rolled a three you go one two stop on the bowler you would just simply knock the bowler into the canyon and that would go ahead and end your movement uh, some other movement rules um, if it turns out you roll your die and you uh, end up landing on the same space you'll just simply uh, skip ahead and go on over to the next space now where the star comes into play is if you end up rolling this this is going to give you an option to either move your vehicle forward one or to move your opponent's vehicle back one so if i roll the star and i decide to do that i will move forward like that but let's just say my opponent happened to be over here and let's say I said, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and use my star to move him backwards. And you go ahead and move him back one. And chances are he might actually end up in a canyon somewhere and he'll have to dig his way out. Now, where the turbo tokens come in is you can turn these in and this will give you the opportunity to roll two dice. So let's say I rolled, I rolled an eight, and this will allow me to move eight. Now, you're only going to get three of these in the game. Uh, if you decide to do multiple laps, you will get these three turbo tokens back uh, whenever you cross the finish line. Now, the bridge here counts as one space, so if I were to roll a three, I would go one, two, three. If I were to land here, I would have to let go of the vehicle and hope that I could cross the bridge, which in this case, I did. Uh, so spaces, you can land, you can land here, you get out this way, you land here, you can get out this way, here, you can get out this way, and then here, you can get out this way. And then here, you would just simply get out that way. So anyway, the game is going to continue. Everyone's going to roll their dies, use their turbo tokens. Uh, they may hit boulders, have to knock those out of the way. And the winner of the game is the first person to cross the finish line first. And that, folks, is Crash Canyon. So my final thoughts on Crash Canyon. Well, 3D board, something that I like. Uh, the uh, micro machines are something that I really like. I like the idea of the game, of moving these uh, vehicles around. Uh, it's a pretty cool use of the micro machines is putting it into a game. Um, I do like uh, sometimes when the cars fall into the canyon. Sometimes when you let go of your car, it'll bump into another car and knock it into the canyon. Uh, so that can be uh, some fun. Uh, this game is expensive, though. Uh, complete copy right now I've seen is going for around $200. Uh, you can get a cheaper incomplete copy and uh, there is somebody that is selling uh, 3d printed parts out so 
might make the game a little bit uh, cheaper. But yeah, this is a fun game, but uh, it's definitely more on the lighter side. Uh, I think kids would probably enjoy this. Adults would probably enjoy this just as long as they're into the light, fun aspect of the game. This is not a difficult game to, to learn at all, and there really isn't much in the way of strategy unless you want to count the turbo tokens as strategy. It definitely is not worth the hefty price tag that it is going for if you're looking for like a fun factor. Um, I would say it probably be worth half that. But anyway, uh, it's a game I'm glad to have in my collection. Okay, guys, so that does it for me. We will see you later. Keep on gaming.